Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to use task list which is a Windows command to be able to view what is actually running on a system and also to view what is running on a remote system. And this will show you all the tasks and processes that are running. The reason this is important is because if there's a potential that you have malware on your system or something like that or if you want to know if a certain task is running you could go in and run this command it'll actually give you a readout of all the tasks that are running and this will also help you in determining if there's a malware running sometimes it'll hide itself as scv host sometimes it doesn't hide itself at all sometimes you'll see a task running with no name quite often the ones with no name are malware so to be able to do this in windows you're going to click on start and come down here to the little pan for search and run type in CMD in Windows 10 like this one you're gonna click right there on the search or if you have a little search bar there and then just type in CMD and hit enter now that you have command prompt up all you have to do is just type in task list and as you can see it'll give you everything that's running on the system it'll also even tell you what the session number is the PID which is the process ID so you can use that process ID to kill the process and it'll give you what session number it's running on majority of them are running zero or one and as you can tell there is a lot running there's always a lot running but sometimes you can see things that are not supposed to be running that unfortunately are so let's say you want to see what's running on a remote system. So you're going to type in task list space slash s space and then the IP address. Now to run this on a separate system you have to know what the system name is or what the domain is that it's connected to. So I'm going to run this on a remote system. And I'm going to run it on one of my lab machines. So we're going to do this as slash U. And the domain is going to be and we're going to use slash S to indicate that it is a remote system. And now you can see what all's running on that remote system, which as you can tell, there's quite a bit. So that's one of the easiest ways to tell what's actually running by using the command task list to be able to see what you have currently running on your machine or to be able to look at one of your other machines remotely through command prompt and see what all's actually running. Again, like I said, this is a good way to help detect malware and tell yourself what's actually running and then you can actually use the PID to go in and kill different processes if needed if you have something running that is possibly stuck or something running in the background that you don't want running at the time. This information is out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. Have a great day.